All right, gang, welcome to Hanson's Speed Shop. Before we get started here today, I just want to remind anybody who's not already a subscriber to Hanson's Speed Shop, hit that subscribe button. And if you really dig uh, the car, give it a thumbs up and comment below at the end of the video. And let me know what you think of it. If you notice right up here in uh, the left-hand side of the screen, there's this 55 Chevy. If you remember, we did this build a while back. My Tarantula Fantasy Drag Team, as you can see here, was another car that we did for that my fantasy drag team of 41 willies uh we did a front engine dragster a funny car a few other cars for that fantasy drag team but today we're going to be doing another car for um my fantasy drag team and it's going to be another 55 chevy gaster and you're like well didn't you already do one yes i did but this one's going to be a little bit different we're going to kind of pretend that um basically let's say that was the first variation of this car and this is going to be a little bit more of an updated version of the car I'm planning on doing a 426 hemi swap in the car um like we did on my deep purple gasser um some different wheels and a slightly different paint job um so it should be a pretty cool build um this one was from the uh, 50th anniversary series from Hot Wheels. Really cool car. Stole the wheels off of this a while back for another build. But um, I saved this because I liked the like lime green tinted windows, which are gonna look really cool um, on this car. But first we're gonna have to get that paint stripped off and uh, then we can kind of go from there. All right guys, so we're gonna take a look at um, some work that I did on the 55 here. Um, I got these really nice, um, I use these on quite a few builds now, these really cool pie crust slicks with some slotted um, eggs from Hot Wheels um, with matching wheels up front. I'm debating yet if we're going to paint them or just leave them as a gray kind of plastic. Um, I had to do some modifying on the front of our window here to clear our engine. And then a ton of work went into getting this big Hemi to fit in here. Um, got a little bit of cleanup work to do yet. Um, and then obviously this will all get painted and detailed. Um, didn't have to do anything really to the chassis. Did have to do a little bit of cutting on the firewall of the body um, just to get everything to clear right. But that should all work out really good. Uh, so basically we're to the um, point now where we can get everything painted and detailed. So I think I'll just show a little bit of the detail work and then we'll check this thing out at the final unveil. All right, gang, it's time for the final unveil on the Tarantula 55 Chevy Gasser. Um, this thing came out really cool. I did a Tarantula 55 Chevy um, a while back, but we wanted to do kind of... That one was kind of more of an early to mid 60s style. This would be more of a late 60s style gasser. So this would be kind of like the Tarantula 2. And this thing came out absolutely sweet. Exactly like what I wanted. Everything that I wanted to do on the first one, I kind of did on this one. Um, I mean, that I didn't do on that car, I did on this one. And it came out even better than I thought it would. Uh, I hope you guys did it. Give it a thumbs up if you do. Hit that subscribe button if you're not already a subscriber. And uh, comment below. Let me know what you think of the car. But um, these 55 Chevy Gassers from Hot Wheels come with a ton of casting imperfections on the body. So it just took a lot of work just to get the body smoothed out. And then it also took a ton of work because we did a, a engine swap on these. These come from Hot Wheels with like a blown big block Chevy in them. Um, and this was the first one that I swapped like a 426 Hemi into, um, which was also sourced out of a Hot Wheels casting, I believe called Road Band. It's kind of like this cheesy school bus thing, but it, the engine in it's really nice and detailed. Uh, so I cut that out of there, cut the old engine out, but I left the, the original headers and kind of the original engine block and then put this engine on top of that. I had to do a lot of clearancing to the firewall and we had to cut off the original master cylinder and uh, move it over way over towards the fender for clearance but as you can see it all fit in there and looks really good um, nice detailing on the engine now this engine's kind of a little weird because 
basically aesthetically like the shape of the valve covers and stuff is a 426 hemi but they put the distributor in the back like an early style hemi so it's kind of like this weird hybrid early hemi 426 hemi combo but it's still it it looks cool and it's still hemi so um gave it the nice gloss black paint job i handed all the lettering on the side of the car um, I added some little cobwebs on the back of the roof, which looked really sweet. Um, and then on the trunk lid, I added some little pins, um, like if, as if the deck lid was a fiberglass one. Um, I added these super nice Hot Wheels chrome wheels and rear rider tires that look perfect on here. We didn't do anything with the stance of the car. That's just how it comes from Hot Wheels. I did the interior out in a satin black. It was chrome, if you remember, and then underneath, everything's basically just either gloss black or silver on the ladder bars, detailed out the oil pan, hammy orange, pretty simple. I decided to do the headlights out in red just to give the car more of that sinister, kind of creepy look, uh, which goes along with the green tinted windows. Super awesome look on this car. Um, here is a look at the driver's side. Uh, the logos and everything, again, was all done by hand. That came out really good on here. Super happy with that. Um, so give it a thumbs up, guys. Let me know what you think, because that's basically going to do it for this build. Stick around for some more pictures of the car. Otherwise, until next time, get out work on your own projects. Get those hands dirty and greasy. Stay cool, and we'll catch you cats on the next one. Thanks for watching.